Avoid this mistake if you want truly fulfilling relationships. Many of us overlook the warning signs of imbalanced or toxic connections until it's too late. Have you ever felt drained after spending time with someone or questioned why certain relationships leave you more stressed than supported? It's easy to ignore these red flags when nostalgia clouds our judgment or when guilt keeps us tied to people who don't reciprocate our care. If you want authentic, meaningful connections, you need to know how to recognize the behaviors that hold you back, like guilt manipulation, disrespect, or one-sided conversations. Understanding these dynamics isn't just about walking away from harmful relationships, it's about making space for the ones that truly uplift and inspire you. In this script, we'll dive deep into the hidden traps of superficial closeness, lack of interest, and imbalanced effort, and explore how to set boundaries that protect your self-respect. By the end, you'll have a roadmap for creating relationships built on trust, mutual care, and genuine connection. Let's start by shining a light on the behaviors that keep you from the happiness and fulfillment you deserve. Number one, reflecting on relationships with clarity are relationships, the cornerstone of our existence. Think back to those sunny afternoons with friends or quiet evenings with loved ones when everything seemed perfect. There's a comforting warmth in the memories of laughter shared and bonds forged. Relationships have the potential to uplift, support and inspire us to become the best versions of ourselves. They're like mirrors reflecting not just our strengths but also our vulnerabilities. But what happens when that mirror becomes distorted? As you sit here now, consider your relationships. Are they genuinely serving you? Are they built on mutual respect and understanding? It's easy to let emotions cloud our judgment. The fear of losing someone often blinds us to the reality of how they treat us. Stoicism, an age-old philosophy, offers us a way to strip away that emotional fog. It teaches us to view relationships not through the haze of sentiment, but with a clear, unclouded mind. Take a moment to reflect on the people in your life. Have you ever been in a situation where you constantly showed up for someone, but when you needed them, they were nowhere to be found? These moments are subtle yet powerful indicators of imbalance. A genuine relationship isn't just tested during moments of joy, but in times of adversity. It's during the storms that true bonds shine. Think back to a time when someone you cared about let you down. Maybe it was a missed phone call, a forgotten promise, or a lack of support when you were at your lowest. That sting of disappointment lingers, doesn't it? But here's the truth. Your worth is not defined by someone else's inability to recognize it. Instead, these experiences teach us a vital lesson to cherish those who stand by us in both sunlight and shadow. Now ask yourself who truly deserves a place in your life. Curiosity might lead you to reassess your relationships. Are you nurturing connections with people who uplift and support you? Or are you investing energy in those who drain you? By adopting a stoic lens, you gain the clarity to distinguish between genuine connections and ones that hold you back. Number two, identifying lack of reciprocity. Picture this, you're in a relationship where you're always the one giving. It's you who plans the surprises, initiates conversations, and goes out of your way to make the other person feel special. But when the tables turn, there's silence. No thoughtful gestures, no shared effort, just you carrying the weight of the bond. At first, you shrug it off, convincing yourself they're just busy. But over time, the imbalance becomes undeniable. Let's celebrate for a moment the beauty of reciprocity. Think about those rare relationships where give and take are perfectly balanced. The joy of receiving a heartfelt thank you or a kind gesture without asking is unparalleled. It's this harmony that fosters mutual growth and sustains genuine connections. But what happens when this balance tips? 
Imagine pouring water into a cup that never fills. It's draining, isn't it? A relationship where one person constantly gives while the other takes isn't a partnership. It's a transaction. Stoicism reminds us to pause and reflect on such dynamics. Instead of blaming others, we're encouraged to look inward and examine our role. Are we enabling this behavior by not expressing our needs? Nostalgia often plays a role in these situations. You might remember the early days of a relationship when everything felt balanced. The mutual laughter, the shared dreams, and the sense of being valued. But as time went on, things shifted. The other person stopped putting in the effort, leaving you to wonder what changed. Those memories make it hard to let go, don't they? Curiosity beckons. How do you address this lack of reciprocity? The answer lies in honest communication. Speak up about your feelings. Express your needs without fear. A stoic approach doesn't demand keeping score, but emphasizes a healthy exchange. If the other person values the relationship, they'll make an effort to balance the scales. If not, it might be time to reassess their role in your life. Number three, recognizing betrayal and broken trust. Ah, betrayal, the silent storm that often takes us by surprise. At first, everything seems fine. Trust feels like a fortress, strong and unshakable. You share your secrets, your fears and your dreams, believing the other person will guard them with care. But then, a crack appears. Maybe it's a lie, a broken promise or an act of deceit. That crack grows and before you know it, the fortress crumbles. Let's take a moment to acknowledge the happiness trust brings. Think about someone in your life who has never let you down. The comfort of knowing they have your back, no matter what, is priceless. Trust, when honored, becomes the foundation of the deepest relationships. But betrayal changes everything. It's like being caught in a storm you didn't see coming. One moment, you're basking in the warmth of security the next, you're left in the cold, questioning everything. The sting of betrayal isn't just about the act itself. It's about the broken bond, the shattered expectations, and the realization that someone you valued didn't value you the same way. Nostalgia amplifies the pain. You remember the good times, the laughter, the promises, the shared moments that now feel tainted. It's like watching a beautiful painting slowly fade. Those memories make you wonder, was it all a lie? Betrayal forces you to confront the past with a new perspective. Curiosity, however, leads to growth. How do you move forward? Stoicism offers a powerful approach. Instead of dwelling on the hurt, it teaches us to focus on what we can control, our reaction. When betrayal strikes, confront it calmly. Have an open dialogue with the person, but also set firm boundaries. The choice to repair the relationship or walk away is yours. Whatever path you choose, let it align with your values and respect for yourself. In these moments, remember your well-being is paramount. Betrayal may shake you, but it doesn't define you. Trust can be rebuilt, whether with the same person or someone new. And as you navigate this journey, Stoicism reminds you to hold your head high, knowing your strength lies within. Number four, selective availability as a red flag. Happiness is sharing time with someone you deeply value, isn't it? Those warm moments where you both laugh at inside jokes, share dreams, and feel a sense of belonging are priceless. Picture this, a friend or partner who always seems to light up your day. They respond quickly to your texts, make plans with enthusiasm, and seem fully present in your life. It's these connections that give life its spark and remind us why relationships are such a vital part of human existence. But let's pause for a moment. Have you ever noticed a shift in their availability? Maybe they used to text back immediately but now take hours or even days to respond. Perhaps they're suddenly too busy for calls or cancel plans at the last minute. 
At first, you might brush it off, thinking everyone has their moments of being swamped. Life happens, right? But as this pattern repeats, it starts to feel deliberate, even calculated. Selective availability is one of those subtle behaviors that can be a significant red flag in any relationship. It reflects a lack of consistency that often masks deeper issues. Here's where the core content comes into focus. Selective availability often signals a power imbalance. When someone makes themselves available only on their terms, they may be subtly trying to assert control over the relationship. It creates a dynamic where you're left waiting, wondering, and hoping for their attention. This behavior can range from unintentional negligence to deliberate manipulation, making you question your importance in their life. Think about a time in your past when you relied on someone's presence, only to find that they were there only when it suited them. Maybe it was a friend who responded to your calls when they needed something but vanished when you needed support. Or perhaps it was a partner who always seemed to prioritize work, hobbies, or other relationships over you. Nostalgia for the good times makes it hard to see these patterns clearly. You remember the laughter, the shared meals, the heartfelt conversations, and it clouds your judgment about their inconsistent actions now. Curiosity naturally follows how do you recognize selective availability for what it is and address it? First, pay attention to patterns. If someone consistently makes excuses or avoids deep conversations, it's worth evaluating their true intentions. Second, open communication is key. Number five, overcoming the guilt manipulation trap. Happiness thrives in relationships built on mutual respect and understanding. Imagine a partnership or friendship where you feel valued, heard and appreciated. A connection where the emotional exchange is balanced and free of judgment. You smile at the thought of someone who lifts you up, never making you feel as if your worth hinges on their approval. But what happens when these connections become a source of guilt? wielded as a tool to control and manipulate. Let's delve into guilt manipulation, a toxic dynamic where someone uses your sense of responsibility or compassion against you. It's a subtle yet effective strategy that often starts with small nudges, comments about how you never make time for them or how no one else understands their struggles like you do. These remarks may seem harmless at first, but over time, they evolve into emotional weights. Before you know it, you're bending over backward, compromising your boundaries and carrying a burden that isn't yours to bear. At its core, guilt manipulation thrives on a misunderstanding of responsibility. Manipulative individuals often project their insecurities or unmet needs onto you, making you feel responsible for their happiness. This behavior may stem from their past experiences, but it doesn't justify placing the weight of their emotional well-being squarely on your shoulders. Think back to a moment when you felt trapped by someone's expectations. Maybe it was a friend who guilted you into helping them repeatedly, even when you were overwhelmed. Or perhaps it was a family member who made you feel as though prioritizing your needs was an act of betrayal. Nostalgia for the good times, the laughter and shared memories, might have made it difficult to confront these patterns. But that lingering sense of discomfort, that was your intuition signaling that something wasn't right. So how do you break free from this guilt-driven cycle? Start by recognizing the patterns. Ask yourself, are you constantly sacrificing your needs to appease someone else? Next, establish clear boundaries. Communicate your limits firmly but compassionately, understanding that protecting your mental and emotional health is not selfish, it's essential. Finally, practice detachment. Stoicism teaches us that we cannot control others' reactions, only our own choices. If someone responds negatively to your boundaries, it speaks more to their inability to respect you than any flaw on your part. 
curiosity stirs as you consider the power of reclaiming your autonomy. What relationships could flourish if they were free from guilt? How might you grow when you prioritize your well-being? By overcoming the guilt manipulation trap, you step into a life guided by respect, balance and authenticity, a life where connections enhance rather than drain you. Number 6. Addressing Lack of Personal Interest Happiness in relationships often comes from shared enthusiasm, a genuine interest in each other's thoughts, feelings and lives. Picture a friend who remembers the small details you've shared or a partner who listens intently to your aspirations. These moments of connection feel like a warm embrace, reminding you that you're seen and valued. Now imagine the opposite. Someone who tunes out when you speak, forgets what matters to you, or shows little curiosity about your world. It stings, doesn't it? A lack of personal interest is a subtle yet telling sign of a one-sided relationship. It reveals itself in missed opportunities for connection cancelled plans, half-hearted responses, or a consistent focus on their needs over yours. While everyone has moments of distraction, a pattern of disinterest often signals a deeper issue, be it emotional distance, selfishness, or a lack of commitment. Reflect on past relationships where you felt unseen. Perhaps it was a colleague who constantly interrupted your ideas or a partner who dismissed your dreams. The nostalgia for moments when they did show interest makes it harder to confront the present reality. But clinging to these memories often prolongs the pain, keeping you stuck in a cycle of unmet expectations. To address this imbalance, start by expressing your feelings openly Share examples of when you felt overlooked and explain why it matters to you. If they care about the relationship, they'll make an effort to engage more meaningfully. If not, their response, or lack thereof, provides clarity. Remember, relationships are a two-way street. Your needs and interests deserve equal attention. Curiosity ignites as you explore the potential of surrounding yourself with people who invest in you wholeheartedly. What might it feel like to have friendships or partnerships where your passions and stories are met with genuine enthusiasm? By addressing a lack of personal interest, you pave the way for connections that nurture and inspire you. Number 7. Unilateral Conversations – A One-Way Street Happiness in communication is about exchange, a rhythm of giving and receiving that strengthens bonds. Think of a great conversation where both parties are engaged, their ideas bouncing off each other like sparks. It feels invigorating, doesn't it? Now imagine the opposite, a conversation dominated by one person, where your words are mere placeholders between their monologues. It's draining and disheartening, Unilateral conversations, where one person speaks while the other listens passively, are a hallmark of imbalance. They reveal a lack of mutual respect and interest, reducing the relationship to a performance rather than a partnership. While it's natural for some conversations to tilt one way, especially during times of need, a consistent pattern indicates a deeper issue. Reflect on moments when you felt silenced or ignored. Maybe it was a friend who never asked how you were doing, or a relative who monopolized every family gathering. Nostalgia for the good times might make you hesitate to address this imbalance, but your frustration is valid. Relationships flourish when both voices are heard, not when one drowns out the other. To navigate this dynamic, gently interrupt and steer the conversation. Use phrases like, that's interesting. Can I share my perspective? Or I'd love to tell you about something that's been on my mind. If the other person values the relationship, they'll take the hint and adjust. If not, it might be time to reconsider the relationship's viability. Curiosity beckons. What would it feel like to be part of dialogues that energize rather than exhaust you? By prioritizing balanced conversations, you invite relationships that celebrate your voice and ideas. Number 8. Superficial Closeness and False Intimacy 
Happiness in intimacy lies in authenticity, the vulnerability of being fully seen and accepted for who you are. Imagine a bond where you can share your deepest fears, hopes and dreams without fear of judgment. Now, contrast that with a connection that feels shallow, where intimacy is mimicked but never truly felt. It's like standing on a stage where the spotlight shines brightly, but the audience is indifferent. Superficial closeness, characterized by surface-level interactions, often masquerades as genuine intimacy. It thrives on shared experiences that lack emotional depth, frequent outings, constant texting, or oversharing without true understanding. While these moments can feel fulfilling in the short term, they often leave you yearning for more. Think back to relationships where this dynamic played out. Perhaps it was a friend who was always available for fun, but disappeared during tough times. Or maybe it was a partner who knew your favorite color, but not your biggest fears. Nostalgia for shared moments can make it hard to recognize the emptiness beneath the surface. To transform these connections, prioritize depth over frequency. Ask open-ended questions that encourage vulnerability and be willing to share your own truths. If the other person resists, it may be a sign that they're not ready or willing for a deeper bond. Curiosity whispers, what might it feel like to cultivate relationships that nourish your soul rather than skim the surface? By seeking genuine intimacy, you create space for connections that truly matter. Number nine, recognizing and responding to disrespect. Happiness stems from feeling valued and respected. Think of relationships where you're treated with kindness, where your boundaries are honored and your voice is heard. Now, imagine the opposite being belittled, dismissed or taken for granted. Disrespect in any form, be it subtle or overt, erodes trust and self-worth. Disrespect often manifests as criticism, condescension or disregard for your needs. While occasional conflicts are natural, a pattern of dismissive behavior is a red flag that demands attention. Reflect on past experiences where you tolerated disrespect, perhaps out of love, fear, or obligation. Nostalgia for the good moments might have kept you from confronting the bad, but deep down, you knew you deserved better. To address disrespect, start by articulating your boundaries clearly. Use I statements to express how their behavior affects you and what changes you need. If they're unwilling to adjust, it's a sign that they don't value the relationship as much as you do. Curiosity awakens. What could your life look like surrounded by people who respect and uplift you? By standing firm against disrespect, you pave the way for healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Number 10. Setting boundaries for self-respect. Happiness flourishes when you honor yourself. Setting boundaries isn't about pushing people away. It's about creating a framework where love and respect can thrive. Boundaries protect your time, energy, and emotional well-being, allowing you to show up fully in your relationships. Reflect on moments when you felt drained or taken advantage of. Perhaps it was a friend who expected too much or a partner who crossed lines repeatedly. Nostalgia for the connection might have kept you from speaking up, but each moment of silence chipped away at your sense of self-worth. To establish boundaries, start by identifying your non-negotiables. Communicate them calmly but assertively and be prepared to enforce them. Remember, boundaries are a form of self-love. They teach others how to treat you and remind you of your own value. Curiosity stirs what relationships might transform when you stand firm in your worth. By setting boundaries, you create a life aligned with your values and aspirations. Number 11. The value of genuine and mutual connections. Happiness radiates from connections built on mutual respect, trust and love. Imagine relationships where both parties invest equally, where your joy is shared and your struggles are met with empathy. These are the connections that anchor you, 
providing strength and inspiration. Genuine connections are rare gems in a world filled with superficiality. They require vulnerability, effort, and a commitment to mutual growth. Unlike transactional relationships, genuine bonds thrive on authenticity and reciprocity. Think back to a time when you felt deeply connected to someone. Perhaps it was a childhood friend, a mentor, or a partner who truly understood you. Nostalgia for these moments reminds you of the beauty of true connection and the power it has to shape your life. To cultivate genuine connections, prioritize quality over quantity. Seek relationships that align with your values and be willing to let go of those that don't. Remember, it's better to have a few meaningful bonds than many shallow ones. Curiosity invites you to imagine the possibilities what heights could you reach with a network of genuine, supportive connections. By valuing and nurturing these relationships, you enrich your life in ways that go beyond measure. In a world full of fleeting connections and superficial interactions, prioritizing meaningful relationships is one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself. Recognizing red flags, setting boundaries, and demanding mutual respect aren't just actions, they're declarations of your self-worth. Every step you take toward understanding and addressing these dynamics brings you closer to a life filled with genuine, uplifting connections that truly matter. Drop a hundred in the comments if you've come this far. It shows you're among the rare few who are truly committed to self-growth and meaningful change. If you're serious about transforming your relationships and your life, don't miss out. Subscribe to our channel and join a community that's here to support you every step of the way.